What is up YouTube? So today I want to compare two iPhones and it's going to be 10 years difference because I want to see like the difference like when you make a big difference. So if we take the iPhone 3GS that came 2009, how does that one stack up against the brand new Apple iPhone 11 Pro Max with the triple camera? So let's see this. This is very, very interesting because, I mean, 10-year difference is quite fascinating. I checked out the 10-year difference between my new Note, my Galaxy Note, my Note 10 Plus, and a high-end computer from 2010, and it was fascinating. So, okay, so let's go over the, the, the starting stuff. So first of all, the iPhone 3GS, it did not have any 4G. No 4G, like you could not get that. You only had 3G speeds, no no 4G. And that is obviously something that you do get on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So way, way faster speeds. I think most people are on 4G these days. I don't think anyone wants to use 3G because it's, 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 just, it's just slow. Other things is the 3GS had mini SIM. It was, it was bigger, okay? Now, these days, we used to have nano SIM. It's a little bit smaller. Still, I don't understand why we still are using uh, SIM cards. We shouldn't have to do that in a digital world. Another big thing here is that the 3GS had a bad display, TFT display. While on the brand new 11 Pro Max, you get the Super Retina XDR OLED display with 60 million colors. Okay, you actually had 60 million also with the TFT display. Can be good to know. A big difference here is the size. So if you remember Steve Jobs, he did not like big phones. He did not like big phones. So the uh, 3GS 3.5 inch display, quite small. Quite small compared to these days. The the uh, 11 Pro Max 6.5 inch, almost 7 inch. That is crazy. We could never imagine that. That is almost double the size in 10 years. We're probably not going to see double the size up to 10 more years in the future, 2029. Resolution is quite kind of interesting because the pixel density was 165 on the 3GS versus 458 ppi on the 11 Pro Max. So almost 3x improvement in 10 years. That's very impressive. OS, you had iOS 3 on the 3GS and iOS 13 on the new 11 Pro Max. Now, you can argue in many ways. I saw you had this jailbreak scene in 2009 that was kind of amazing because people running Syria and stuff like that. And, and there was more of a community, hacking community. And now it doesn't exist anymore. Now it's just kind of boring. So in a way, I think the, the software experience was a little bit more interesting back then. It was a little bit more opened up and free, I would say. Chipsets, we don't even know what, what the chipset the 3GS had, but... You get Apple A13 Bionic on the uh, 11 Pro Max. CPU, you had only a 600 megahertz Cortex A8 on the 3GS versus a hexa-core GPU or no, CPU inside of the um, uh, inside of the 11 Pro Max. That's basically four, five, six, six cores compared to just one core that wasn't even dual core. 600 megahertz, it wasn't even one gigahertz. Uh, and then you do have this four core graphics on uh, the 11 Pro Max versus only probably a single core Power VR S SGX 535. Okay, so that may not say a lot, but I mean, if you can see the, the new stuff about the new iPhone, it's just you can play nice GPU games. But then again, are many people, are many people doing that? I don't think so. Uh, most people still like running basic stuff, basic games. It's very interesting, no card slot on any of these phones. It's kind of weird that Apple is still sort of denying that access. Here's a very, very interesting uh, internal specs. So you only had 256 megabytes of RAM on the 3GS versus now it is four gigabytes of RAM. And that is amazing. I think that's 15X improvement in, uh, in the RAM, which is very interesting. Main camera is kind of interesting because you only had a 3 megapixel camera on the 3GS versus this uh, 12 megapixel camera 
that is uh, triple on the um, iPhone 11 Pro Max, a telephoto, ultra wide, and a, a standard wide megapixel, but 12 megapixel, all three. And then also that you get the quad LED and video also that you have 60 FPS, 240 FPS also inside of the um, 11 Pro Max, only 30 FPS, 480p inside of the 3GS. But you can record 2K quality, 2160p at 60 FPS uh, with the uh, 11 Pro Max, which is just, it's just so much better. <laughs> Here's a funny thing. You didn't even have a selfie camera inside of the 3GS, but you get a 12 megapixel selfie camera in the 11 Pro Max, and they're getting really good these days. Here's the fun part. On the 3GS, you had a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, but you don't even have any any headphone jack inside of the 11 Pro Max. So they, they're sort of removing that, and you need probably an adapter now to listen to music, which is kind of annoying. Probably cost you $100. And then in terms of connectivity, we have a little bit of improvements, Bluetooth 2.1 to 5.0. I still don't think many people use it. Like sure, now people maybe with, with like wireless listening, we probably see a little bit more with that with, uh, with 5.0, sure. Mm -hmm. So that is basically the, the, the interesting aspect of specs. Yeah, 4000 milliamp uh, battery also in the iPhone 11 Pro Max versus we don't even know uh, inside of the 3GS. It can also be good to know about these two phones is, I mean, in terms of designs, the, you had this way more, I mean, you, in some ways, not that much has really changed. I mean, you had a home button inside of the 3GS and now they sort of removed that and you don't have a physical home button, but in terms of design, it's like, yeah, it looks a little bit like a stone, the 3GS versus the 11 Pro Max looks a little bit mature, a little bit grown up, but yeah, it's uh, it's it's kind of interesting. But most of the specs are like 3X as good or sometimes up to 15X as good as you heard there with the RAM. But in many aspects, what we can learn here from Apple is that they are they are upgrading their devices, but sort of in a in a slow way over over a long period of time. One of the biggest difference here probably is the uh, the camera. I mean, that you're going from three megapixel to twelve megapixels. That is that is pretty pretty nice. And also that you can do more animation stuff with the brand new iPhone 11 Pro Max. And also that you probably have. Don't quote me on this, but I think you have some sort of water resistance, which is also, of course, super, super cool. So, yeah, I mean, that is 10, 10 year difference. So if we imagine 10 more years in the future, let's just say we're going to have amazing devices. It's just going to be totally, totally, totally amazing. Uh, yeah, so quickly a video, just comparing the specs a little bit. And it's kind of fun to look back sometimes to see like what is happening. Yeah, have a great day, YouTube.